Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. JL Scott Fishing and Eats. Hope everybody's doing well today. Hope you caught the live stream last night. We talked a lot about finesse, the fall transition. One of the baits I didn't get a chance to cover in that two-hour live stream really um, um, was uh, Jackal. And, um, you know, it's one of the baits that you basically want to have in your arsenal if you're finesse fishing. Um, if you're, especially if you're downsizing and you're going to become part of this micro craze. Um, had an opportunity today to talk uh, with a lot of guys from the University of Maryland um, College Park. Um, you know, just about like, you know, sometimes downsizing to the micro, uh, presentation and finesse is really when that bike gets tough. A lot of people, a lot of people resort to that when the bike gets tough, but they don't start with that. Right. So sometimes you got to flip the script a little bit and go start out with micro, start out with micro finesse, get your limit and then, then call your limit. Maybe go, go, um, you know. And go after um, some bigger, technically bigger fish. But you're going to find that on these micro baits, they're easy meals and easy snacks. And it's not uncommon, you know, for your large mouth and the tidal. For example, the tidal Potomac of the upper bay to just, just to chew on, 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 on an easy lunch with a pretty lethargic large mouth. Who doesn't want to chase, you know, too much. Um, versus in the small mouth, in the inland river, system, river systems, you're going to have, you know, smallies will continue to, to just munch on smaller targets of opportunities. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the Jackal, discover the unexpected, okay? Um, and the packaging that you're going to see, which will help you out, um, you know, if you've got a really great tackle shop, um, is you basically have two kinds of packaging with Jackal. You've got the more, the black, um, you know, the blacker style soft plastics, which tend to be a little bit more categorized as that middle range to uh, anywhere from like th north of three inches, three, three, up to five or six inches, right? And then you've got the red. The red, to me, is more of their finesse and micro. Um, and you know, when you see some of these, you're going to get an understanding of what I'm talking about here. Um, and they've got a crazy variety. Jackal's got a crazy variety. Of, of these um, smaller baits um, that you can get pair with. I don't have it with me today. I didn't bring it with me. Um, but really small, like micro underspins, really small, um, you know, jig heads. It, it, it is really, really crazy what's happening with the smaller downsize, you know, BFS, finesse um, kind of opportunities that the market is moving towards. Forward facing sonars, got a lot of them. Those still, still tend to be about in that three inch seems to be the sweet spot for a lot of the guys using forward facing sonar. Um, but like the iShad 2.8, okay? You can just see how it like, basically these are like, if you go out there like right now this morning, see tons of bait fish and they're just really small um, or maybe after a, a spawn, those kinds of things, you're going to find that, that the predominant bait fish are going to be less than three inches. Um, and that's what, that's what this target is. This is a 2.8 eye shad. You can check these two, two eye shads out right here. Okay, this, this is an awesome, sweet little... I'll tell you what, guys. If you're a lake angler uh, with the jackal, look at their chartreuse colors for you for you lake anglers out there. I've had a lot more success with the chartreuse on, on, for largemouth uh, lakes up here in Maryland, um, more so than the river. Uh, I, think the, I think the chartreuse and the morning dawn colors, the pinks... For some reason, in the lakes uh, in Maryland and Upper Northern Virginia, that they tend to be straight up fire as opposed to like the natural colors. Whereas out on your rivers, you want the you want the natural the natural colors. Okay, here's your uh, Wabring two inch. That's a two inch. Okay, um, Wabring is a two and a half. The two and a half inch is a really great title title. Um, you can throw this on your underspins. You can throw, add this to, as a trailer. You can add this to literally, literally anything. Your Ned rig. Um, it's got more of the grub style tail to it. So it's a little bit different presentation, but it's got that black and blue. Um, it's a two point two and a half. Um, really great. Um, and then of course, you know, if you checked out any of my other videos, I always like to have these chartreuse, uh, chartreuse bottoms and cream bottoms. Um, this is another two point five um, wobbering right here. Um, versatile finesse worm with the pitch vibration and that thing those things shake like crazy and then my favorite and I think is a missed opportunity for a lot of anglers um, is the jackal cover crawl and these things get, get giant you can go all the way up okay in terms of size but the three inch is the real sweet spot okay 
And here you go. Here's your chartreuse, chartreuse again. Bottom, green pumpkin, gold top. Um, um, in in the cover crawl. Um, saltiness to them. Obviously, this is more like heavy, you know, like, as opposed to the wobbering. Okay, this is more like a grass and heavier cover uh, around there. It's a lot thicker. It's a lot more durable, too. Um, when you get this in your hand, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, and then, obviously, you cannot, you're not going to go wrong with a green pumpkin, right? Like, that's basically your sweet spot. And, again, again, they've got great action, great action in their stuff. You can use these as trailers as well, um, you know, or by themselves, or, or like the cover, cover crawl. I really like to fish like a tube. Um, and they just work really, really phenomenal. Um, so you want to check out Jackal. Um, again, I'm going to put full descriptions and some tips and techniques in the smallmouth uh, substack newsletter um, for the free subscribers. Um, I'll put that in there. Um, and uh, you can check that out. Pictures of all these, uh, some uh, rigging tips um, in that regard. And then at the premium level, for those that want to subscribe to the premium level on a monthly basis, we're going to be sending out um, packs of our baits to all our premium subscribers every month and then we'll have a bait box as well that you can look at we'll have six to eight six to eight customer Japanese baits in the bait box um, that you can you know whether you want soft soft baits or hard baits um, that you'll be able to experience a lot of times you can't find them can't find them you're not going to find them in stores for the most part um, custom guys may have them on their website or may, may miss them through Instagram or direct message or something like that but we're gonna we're gonna work with a whole bunch of those guys and get those and get them in the box and get them in the hands of as many people as we can because we really think a lot of these baits are like really superior quality to what you can buy in a, uh, in a big box store um and they're gonna then they catch fish um that's the bottom line that's what we're all about right like is, is getting out there and, and finding that stuff that's gonna help us catch fish um again this is the jack all uh discover the unexpected look for the red packages and if you got a tackle shop that carries the the uh the black um, Jackal, ask them to carry the finesse, the finesse, okay, so you can have, you know, so you can have it accessible to you, you know, um, because otherwise, for the most part, you're going to have to, you know, you have to either get them direct, um, from overseas and, and pay that kind of shipping, um, in that regard, or, um, just hit me up and let me know, because we're going to have a, a lot of Jackal delivered, um, and it basically is arriving every week um, from Japan, um, just because it's one of my favorite brands. Um, again, check out the cover crawl, three inch cover crawl from Jackal, and then you've got the wobbering and the eye shad. So the 2.8 inch eye shad, which is a phenomenal finesse. You know, um, you guys, when they're real, real finicky, you can throw these on, um, you know, on just about anything. Um, and then obviously your arc, the two and the 2.5, well the 2.5 wild burning right here, okay, and then a really tiny two for those micro, for those mi for those micro underspins and those micro jigs. All right, guys.